Welcome back, everybody. We're 47 minutes now past the hour on our Tuesday morning, and things are feeling chilly but looking not too terrible. We've got some cloud coverage in the sky scattered across Mississippi and Alabama, but like I mentioned, feeling extremely cold this morning, and we're only getting colder these next couple of days. Right now, temperatures are in the lower 50s, and they're going to continue to drop before that sun does start to rise. So if you're getting that child ready for school or if you're a teacher getting ready for work, heading out the door, I'm telling you, it is going to be cold out there this morning. If you like colder weather, then this is great news for you. But if you're not a big fan of this colder, you know, air outside, might want to grab a jacket and uh, bundle up heading out the door this morning. Definitely cold once again, but heading into the afternoon, we'll start to see a slight increase in cloud coverage and temperatures sitting in the mid 70s. So overall, not a bad Tuesday in store but heading into your evening once that sun does start to set those temperatures again quickly dropping by 7 p.m already sitting in the mid 60s and then by 9 p.m we're starting to reach into the upper 50s so overall again another chilly night is in store but continuing into that overnight temperatures still dropping you'll see those overnight lows in the lower 40s so like 10 degrees below average but again i can't express enough how just cold and you know cooler air is coming in and again we're finally actually more feeling like winter than fall but i know i love this kind of weather but if you don't well i have some bad news for you because these next couple of days definitely going to be some cold ones that high for wednesday only reaching 68 degrees and then thursday that overnight low 38 degrees and then that high for the day sitting right at 70 degrees but heading into friday and saturday our afternoons will be a little bit warmer, starting to reach into the mid 70s, but those overnight lows still sitting in the lower 40s. This is all thanks to a cold front that moved through our area yesterday, but it is bringing some breezier conditions with it. Wind speeds being between 5 to 10 miles an hour for the remainder of the week, but you'll notice wind gusts being between 15 to 25 miles an hour. And we are still in a drought because this cold front did not bring any rain with it, so that drought is starting to worsen in the Delta and and in Octobaha County in Starkville and no significant improvements for Alabama and again no rain in the forecast that so this drought could worsen. I hope that's not the case but all of that to say that there is a fire threat in place until Wednesday because those wind speeds are going to be so strong and the ground is so dry so if you do any outdoor burning use extra caution because that fire could spread quickly and if you do smoke any cigarettes dispose of them properly. Now we are watching some areas interest in the tropics. This main area of concern being in the central Atlantic that has a 60% chance to develop within the next seven days, but your first alert weather team will continue to monitor it and keep you updated with the latest information available. Now we're taking a look at our seven days and you'll notice again a lot of sunshine across the board, no rain in the picture. And then remember Wednesday and Thursday being a little bit cooler, especially those overnight lows sitting in the upper 30s and then heading into our weekend starting to warm up just a little bit.